My brothers and sisters, good afternoon. Our situation during this COVID-19 pandemic can be compared to the situation of the disciples in today's gospel. A violent squall, meaning a violent windstorm, also came upon us. And what is this violent squall? This violent windstorm that came had come upon us. It is the squall or the windstorm of COVID-19. And its waves are also breaking over many nations of the world. And several of them are already filling up with overwhelming COVID-19 infections. And we feel as if Jesus was in the stern. It is at the rear. He was at the rear of the boat, asleep in the caution. So is it, as, it is as if the Jesus is just, just there at the, our back. Seems to be sound asleep. So we wake him up through this Archdiocesan Day of Prayer for the sick and frontliners. And we also say, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing because of this COVID-19? Do you not care that we are now number one in Southeast Asia in terms of COVID infection. Do you not care that those who are sick with COVID are now overwhelming our hospitals and our healthcare facilities? Do you not care that our medical frontliners are now stretched to their limit? Or, or even beyond their limit as they provide health care for the sick. So we are now terrified with our worsening situation because of the further spread of this virus. Will the Lord also wake up and rebuke the wind of COVID-19 and say to the sea of pandemic, quiet, be still. So in this mass, special mass, in time of pandemic, we pray to the Lord that ultimately the wind of COVID-19 will cease and there will be great calm in the sea of pandemic. If that happens, my brothers and sisters, we are also, we have to be ready also because the Lord will ask us, why are you terrified? Do you not, all, do you not yet have faith? We have faith, but we faltered because of the tremendous impact of this COVID pandemic. However, we thank the Lord because by showing us that even the wind of COVID-19 and the sea of pandemic obey him, we are once more strengthened in our faith. The first reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans further give us or further strengthen us in our faith because it assures us that nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. 
not even the COVID-19. Amen? Amen ba? Because as we call out to the Lord, like the psalmist in the responsorial psalm, we say, have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. He will, we believe that he will stretch out his hand and give us healing. So, through the intercession of San Roque, whose uh, memory we celebrated yesterday, we pray for the sick, especially those who are sick because of COVID-19, that they may have healing. And we pray for our frontliners that the Lord may refresh and give them rest so that they will be strong again to provide health care for our brothers and sisters. So we pray for them that nothing will separate them from the love of Christ, from the love of God, not even the COVID-19 virus.